Here at WTF Pizza, we're passionate about giving our local producers and farmers the stage to perform. That's because for us, local means authentic and trusted produce. Only the very best and freshest ingredients make it onto our pizzas. So, who helps us create these WTF masterpieces? So Ray, thanks for having us out here on your farm. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what it is you do out here? Yeah, my name's Ray Devere. Um, our property's name is River Ridge Dairies. Um, we supply dairy farmers and we milk about 188 cows here uh, all year round. Currently the cows are producing 3,500 litres a day. I know my milk's good from the vat because I know what goes into it, so yeah, I, I drink my own milk. The current diet of these cows is um, the winter, winter pastures just going off. Um, so the, the predominant pasture will be a, a tropical pasture, mostly Kaikuyu. Um, they also get fed um, barley grain in the dairy with a, a, a custom made mineral mix um, just for animal health. And we're also feeding um, brewery grain which was um, sourced directly uh, through dairy farmers from uh, Forex in Brisbane. So it's a, a good byproduct to use, it makes a lot of milk. Basically the cows we've got here are, are mostly jerseys. There's probably 95% jerseys and a couple of larger ones are, are brown Swiss. Um, brown Swiss and jersey are probably uh, the pick of your cows for, for protein and fat components. So that's uh, why I milk those cows. A litre of jersey milk, high, high composition jersey milk, is worth about seven cents more per litre than a Holstein cow's milk. So um, if you do the maths on that, it's a, a pretty, pretty good reason to milk jerseys, yeah. Hi, I'm Quentin Kennedy. My family's been in agriculture for over three generations and I own Kyala Pure Foods. We're an organic cereal grain mill, so we only do organic process organic cereal grains, um, one of the largest in Australia. You go back again, 12 years ago, you'd talk about organic and people would say, oh, what's that all about? Now you mention the word organic and, oh, yeah, I eat this or I eat that. So the consuming public is very much aware of what they're eating. They're very much aware of providence. They want to know where their food comes from and they want to know people that are in the supply chain with that food. So we're constantly looking for grains that give our clients an additional point of differentiation and our clients are seeking that from us. They're looking at opportunities for their own business to be different and effectively that's what organic gives you, a key point of differentiation and then it's about what you produce within that area to have a sustainable competitive advantage. I want it to be synonymous with quality, with organic, with also sustainability and continuity of supply. You know, it's critical that, that our brand is seen to be first of mind in terms of, I know they'll have it regularly. We're a family owned business, I'm off the land originally, so I know that it's tough um, being on the land in conventional farming and I see that organics can allow um, you know, farmers, uh, the whole, as I say, the whole supply chain to be sustainable. Peter, thank you so much for having us out here at Noosa Reds Tomatoes. Can you tell us a little bit about this beautiful fruit? So my name is Peter Seegers and uh, we are uh, Noosa Reds Tomatoes. So we are growing tomatoes uh, for local markets and restaurants and uh, I just love tomatoes and uh, do this already my whole life. So very enjoyable fruit and uh, I just uh, like that other people want to enjoy this too. Fresh harvest, good taste, service, quality fruit and uh, that's what the chefs like in uh, the restaurants uh, and particularly local eh, dating up. The next day it's all been delivered and it can be fresher than that. Uh, originally born in Belgium, grew up at the farm with mom and dad, tomatoes my whole life. But now, uh, dealing on a daily basis with the chefs and with the customers in the market, and they're really giving me the feedback, uh, what they like and what they enjoy about, and, and that gives me the, an enormous satisfaction. Um, and uh, that was one of the most important things too, that your carbon footprint needs to be so low as possible. Uh, bringing your fruit to the market is very close. Uh, Hastings Street uh, here in Noosa is only 10 minutes away. Uh, 
uh, that is another important step in dealing directly with the customers. And uh, we proud ourselves now that we can say we are uh, completely uh, organic uh, in our sprays, and uh, that is uh, insecticides and fungicides, that are all organic certified sprays we're using. Um, but also, uh, I learned throughout the years uh, that when you boost the immune system of the plant, the plant can fight fungi and insects of himself. It, and the demand is there, so why not going back to the original way it was being grown in the past where taste and quality is important and, and, and that people can enjoy the fruit and, and knowing that where it comes from and know the farmer, that is the most important thing. And that is for me the, the highest satisfaction because you have that feedback from the customer. They really enjoy it when they can talk to you, um, how you grow your product, what you do with your product and why you have such a good quality and, and, and that keeps me going. That, that is just the joy of being a grower, you know. And this is a good region for people who are interested in food as well, isn't it? It is a tourist area and when people are on holiday, they, what, the first thing what they enjoy is good food. You know, the, that is the most important thing, nice environment, good food, enjoyable people all around and, and people have time for it. I'm dealing directly with the chefs myself. I am twice a week on the phone with them. I deliver the next day to them. And uh, we're constantly talking with the chef or the sous chef uh, or the other staff in, in the restaurants uh, that working there. And uh, it's very important that they know what you have available, uh, when it is available, and uh, what quality uh, it all is. And uh, the, the difference uh, what a wholesaler can supply to them is the freshness and the quality. Uh, because here it is being harvested today and delivered tomorrow on the spot in the markets directly to our customers or to the restaurants uh, the next day. And, and that is the, the, you can't have a fresher than that. Yeah. I guess from a, a flavour perspective, from a chef's perspective as well, you're able to grow varieties that wouldn't go to the supermarkets because they don't meet the, the, um, the standards and they won't, you're able to ripen them until they're completely ripe rather than picking green and sending them and being, and being gassed or whatever they do. That, that is correct, Matt. Um, because we are able to grow a range of fruit that we can harvest uh, today and delivering tomorrow, there is no withholding for, or there is no cooling process or there is no, no preserving needed. It is fresh and it can be, it is directly from the farm to the plate basically. And that is the beauty that we can, that we are able to do that. Yeah, I want to stay small, I want to stay local, and I want to stay focused on the quality and the freshness and uh, the from from farm to plate directly. A couple of Italian chefs uh, that recently came to Nusa and they tasted my tomatoes, and the first question that they said, "Is that variety from Italy?" And I said, "No, it is a local variety." and it is all locally grown and freshly harvested and they couldn't get over how close it matches to the Italian flavor that they have in their country. So, and that was a real honor for me to hear that from a chef, uh, that my tomatoes are right up there with the, with the Italian quality, because we all know that the Italians are very, very famous with their quality tomatoes. So, yeah, I was very honored about it, to hear that. Yeah. My name is Giuseppe Minoia and I'm from Manella Cheese, Australia in Sydney. Dad started uh, making cheese in um, 1972 um, in a little cheese factory in Mola. Dad decided to call, to call it Vanilla, which is mum's surname. For Dad, it's um, a lifetime affair. He's in absolute, you know, he's in love. I mean, he's always been in love with making cheese. In the morning when he comes in and he tries the milk, you can just see he's just filling the milk and he just loves the feel on his hands and yeah, he's in absolute love for what he does. So we make a selection of stretched and fresh cheese. Our fresh curd rounds up as the ricottas. Our stretched curd round up are all the bocconcini style cheeses, so the bocconcini, fior de latte, ciliegine, the buffalo mozzarella, aero buffalo milk.
Our process to make cheeses are very simple. So the milk comes in probably about 45 minutes to an hour after milking. We store it. The next morning, um, we pasteurize it. At the moment, we're using batch pasteurizers. We cool it down, we culture the milk, we cut the curds and let them rest. After that, the whey gets transferred into our ricotta vats and we make ricotta out of it. And the curds get hopped onto tables to drain and then we stretch them, mold them into all different types of cheeses that we make. Quality is everything. There's no other things. So we, we, we quality control every single piece of cheese that we make. Not just the batch. It's every piece of cheese that we make. So we make a burrata. We'll, we'll look at it in our hand before we put it in the water to make sure it's circled, make sure it doesn't have any holes around. We've based the company since 1983 on quality and um, we're still here going strong. So we strongly, strongly believe in quality. We don't really do this shop because we want to do this job. We do this job because we love the cheese, to eat the cheese as well. So every time we make a batch of cheese, um, we're proud of it. And uh, yeah, it makes it's rewarding when when you take it to someone and that that sort of that sort of goes, oh wow, this is fantastic. You know, that's that's your rewarding moment because um, yeah, when you're working 13, 14 hours a day, there's <laughs> there's not many rewards you can take. But yeah, that's that's the most part. That's the main part you can take away. And we just hope that you know, the public out there really, really, really believes in what we do and um, embraces our cheese and the way we make our cheese and the way Dad's been taught and has been making cheese for the last 40 years. Bronwyn, thanks so much for having us out here on your beautiful farm. Can you tell us a little bit about Noosa Leafy Greens? Hi, I'm Bronwyn from Noosa Leafy Greens. We're a boutique greens farm in uh, Lake McDonald. We grow hydroponic but with bioponic ingredients. We have all organic fertilisers and no chemicals are used on our farm at all. We have nine uh, different sorts of lettuces. We grow cos lettuce. We grow all fancy lettuce, we grow basil, coriander, um, parsley, and we also grow edible flowers. And you grow specific things for restaurants, do you? Yeah, we do. If somebody wants something growing, they'll come to us and we'll seed it, and then we'll grow it for them specifically. No chemicals on this farm whatsoever. We also are um, one of the inaugural members of the Chemical Free Farmers Association, which is just starting now. Uh, so that we're not organic, not grown in soil, so we need to have our own association, so we're chemical free. We also import, instead of using chemicals for bugs, we import predator bugs, which we put into our new, new seedling as we plant. Uh, they get into the trays and eat all the lava, so we don't spray for bugs at all. So can you tell us about exactly what it is that you're planning on growing for WTF? This basil here, which is called a sweet small basil. Not that it looks like it with that one, but um, it's a totally different taste to a normal basil. It's a much lighter basil than normal. Yeah, rocket is, um, we're going to grow it. We have got rocket as well, um, and that's very peppery. So the rocket is quite, quite a strong rocket. The Sunshine Coast is a beautiful place to be. It's, uh, the weather's lovely, warm, uh, so yeah, and people are friendly, and it's sort of got that little town appeal. I think it's uh, we don't Noosa doesn't have traffic jams or whatever, so uh, it's a nice place to be. And out here is very very quiet. So John, here we are at the much loved Umundi Meats in Nooseville. Can you tell us a little bit about how long you've been in the meat game? Yeah, I've been in the meat game for probably about uh, 30 years, 35 years now. Uh, but you, as far as your Monday meats go, we've had your Monday meats going for the last uh, 12 years. We, we uh, like, as far as our beef and, and lamb goes, we have to, it's, it's very seasonal, so we like to use grass-fed beef. 
and, and not, not just grass fed but grass finished as well. Most beef these days is, is finished on grain. Uh, lambs, same, same deal. Uh, from an organic property out at um, uh, Roma. As far as our poultry suppliers go, we, we, we have um, three very good growers around us and um, so both of them deliver to us two and three times a week. So can't, can't beat that for good uh, free range and organic poultry. And what about small goods? Small goods is, is something that there's a lot of in here. Are you, is that one of your things? We've, we've been uh, doing a lot of small goods. And, well, in, in the, in our, we, we have a massive fresh, fresh sausage meat range. Because what you find is that the farmers that are putting the time in to slow growth of animals, lots of space for their animals uh, to, to roam, it, it always comes through in, 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 at the end of the day in the quality of the meat. And, and so yes, it, it's, it's, um, it, it's, it's pretty serious that, you, that you, you know your stuff and know where it comes from and, and make sure you've got the, um, uh, the, the goods to, to, to show that you, you know what you're about. It's just, the Sunshine Coast is just second to none. You've got, got, the, got the weather. Um, the type of people I like to deal with, uh, and um, got the surf on Sundays. Why not drop in to design your very own and see for yourself? Who's the farmer? Actually, everyone just says WTF.